guys! If you're looking for something awesome for spring that doesn't feel heavy but still makes you look glowing and awesome, then keep watching and I will show you guys how to get this look. So I have done my foundation and I will link you guys to the foundation routine. This is California Bronze from Bare Minerals. I love this stuff. It's a trio bronzer and it has a whole bunch of different options. And so I am just going to take the medium to lightest one. This is called the Ocean View. They also have the Stunning Moment and the High Dive. I'm just going to contour my face just to add a little bit of definition and a little bit of shadow. Also, to give my nose a little bit more shape. You can do a little bit at your temples as well. That is totally up to you. Next, it is time for some blush. This is from Tarte. This is the Showstopper Clay Palette. I'm just taking this nice kind of peachy pink um, blush right here in the middle, and I am going to apply this just to my cheeks. I am using a Bobbi Brown bronzer brush. This is like the most amazing blush and bronzer brush you'll ever use. I love it. Next from the exact same palette, I'm going to take the Tarte Cosmetics Champagne Highlighter. I'm also using a Tarte Cosmetics brush. This is flat and stippled. This is amazing. And I'm just going to apply this lightly to wherever the sun kind of hits my face. This is going to be a great highlighter. It's going to sculpt our face and also just make us look glowing and luminous. I'm also going to apply some down the bridge of my nose to make my nose look a little bit straighter. And to my cupid's bow to make my lips and chin just pop. But now that that's done, we have this glowing, fresh, flushed, blushed face, um, and we can start working on the eyes. So as we know, the eyebrows pretty much frame the eyes like a picture frame, so I'm going to be using a Bobbi Brown eyebrow pencil, and I am using this in Rich Brown, and I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows. We have videos on eyebrows, I'll link you to some, so fill in yours however you prefer, um, but I'm just going to do mine light and natural. So look at that, even before eye makeup makes a huge difference. Pimple on the eyebrow. Do you guys see it? It hurts. It hurts. Hashtag acne life. <laughs> now that we're done with our brows, we can go into our eyes. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply a primer. I am going to use Bare Study by MAC Cosmetics. It has a little bit of shimmery shine to it, so it will kind of make everything underneath this luminescent, but we'll also make sure that our eyeshadow stays put all day long. And I'm just applying this to the lid and not going past the crease. You just really want to blend that out so it's nice and even. And I swear to God, I'm just applying makeup, not trying to make any rude gestures. It's like when your parents are in the room, but you're really angry at your sibling for doing something, you're just like, or, uh, or, you know, resting. <laughs> and I'm applying just a little bit to the inner tear duct to brighten this up. Next, it's time to apply some pretty, pretty color, and all the colors that I'm using are from this Dior palette. It is number Chicka Wow 876. These are gorgeous spring colors. They're beautiful. They light up your eyes. So I'm going to take this brush from Tarte. This is awesome. It's a double-sided brush with bamboo. And I'm going to start with this green color. And we're just going to apply this to the center of our lid. And the reason that we're applying this color first is so that we can blend other colors into it. Next, I'm taking a pencil brush and I'm going to dip it into this darker color right here. We're just going to use this in the outer corner, kind of in the V of our eye. And then we're going to drag it up the crease. And this will make our eyes really bold and poppy. And for the crease, I'm going to be using this gorgeous red and blend this in with the brown to give it a little bit of warmth. From there, I'm going to take this light white on like a 227 and just apply this underneath my brow bone and to the inner corner of my eye. So this is just going to make my brows really stand out. Next, I'm taking this Tarte Blender brush. This is like the best brush ever. And then I'm going to take this lightest kind of shimmery pink. It's kind of like a champagne -y pink color. And I'm going to use this to apply color, but also to kind of work out some of this color and make it a little bit more sheer. Now that that's done, just take whatever's left on this pencil brush and just drag it gently along the lower lash line, connecting it to the outer corner. Just kind of keep going back and forth until you have the shading that you want. And what we're going for here is just these really nice warm colors and we want it to be a gradient. You don't want to really see a line of where one starts and stops. You want to be kind of like a gentle fade in and out of each color. So once that's done, you can take a highlighter brush or whatever you like and just clean up a little bit around the edges. The eyeliner that I'm using is from Ico. It's the Skinny Mascara, and I keep it on this little thing. And it says, never ask a girl with winged liner why she's late, which I think is so cute. It's just like a little holder for the pen. This is in liquid black. This is a new formulation. I am obsessed with their liquid eyeliners. And I'm just going to use this to apply to my lash line. I'm just gonna create a very subtle point. Do whatever is best for your eye shape. This will also make our mascara look fuller and darker. Next, I'm going to take this NARS color. It is in Mambo, which is kind of a warm, dark brown. And this is going to contrast the black. And I'm just gonna use this right here on my upper tight line. 
Next, it's time for mascara. I am using the Benefits Roller Lash. This is fairly new for spring. It is amazing, and it really adds curl to your lashes. I just kind of take the brush, and I apply it to the baseline of my lashes, wiggle it in, and then I just kind of blink and pull up. Now, comparing those two, is that amazing or is that amazing? For lips, we're staying flirty and beautiful. I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever lipstick, but this is N52. This is a gorgeous peachy pink nude, and it's super hydrating. On top of that, I am going to add some lip gloss. This is from Vincent Longo. This is in Sexty, and we're just going to use this to blend this lipstick in. So guys, once that's done, this is the finished look. I cannot wait to talk to you all in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.